went Joker and normal Link. Because Blade is like a wild card. Like sometimes he shows up and you'll be like, oh yeah, he plays this character. And then he's like, psych. And you're like, dude. <laughs> he's the jack of all trades out here. Kind of. Ooh, brother match. This is player Unknown and Zenodo, and they are brothers. Okay. Zenodo, Michigan legend. One of yeah. the players I actually do know. <laughs> yeah, he's number one, and then player Unknown, uh, repped, Three, repped by Gucci. And player Unknown plays Mewtwo and Ice Climbers, and Zenodo plays Peach. But they're also brothers, so I'm like, Kind of excited to see this play out because I feel like if anyone can beat Zenodo, it has to be your brother, right? I mean, they probably play all the time, I'd assume. Maybe? No. Ooh. All right, well, this determines who gets to go home. Who gets to go home to the family? <laughs> Come on, unknown. Take him down. Get the bounty. Brotherly love. Nice little confusion right there. It's just been a lot of control so far from Zenodo. It's been kind of like a whole hit and run thing so far with just like a lot of like tapping back and forth, but Zenodo has kind of been controlling the pace so far. Tries to go for something else. That was a stage. good air dodge. Just to, just to dodge that back air. Ooh, very nice. Player unknown closing out the first stock of the game. You know, I liked that edge guarding interaction that happened a little bit ago, though, because we saw the patience from unknown kind of come out. And he, yeah. and he covered a lot of options just by dipping super low and then rising because he waited for like a premature air dodge, but it didn't come. So even though Zenodo ended up getting that air dodge, I just want to say that like it's like that was like super good coverage on unknown's part. Zenodo so far in in control, racking up player unknown to 99 already. And I know Mewtwo's light, so this is getting dicey. We saw some good shield pressure there earlier from uh, Zenodo. Peach is like super, super good shield pressure all throughout like pretty much every game she has been in. Power flow cancels. Oh, nice fake out right there. That back air can be super, super fast if you do the floating and uh, fastballing. Player unknown. Oh, it looks like he really he really wants to take that stock. Yep. Oh, this is how it starts. Oh no. He's just such a strong <laughs> combo game out of that. Back to tie it up again. Unknown kind of keeping him off the ledge. Ooh. There's a whole stock difference between these two. Ooh. Wow. Wow, okay. I mean, Mewtwo's light. Worst DI. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say it. That was some shameful DI. All right, where are we going next? Final destination. Okay. Start the battle. I wonder if he's gonna stay Mewtwo, or will he go to Ice Climbers? Ice climbers. He's gonna try Ice Climbers. No, I saw his Ice Climbers. I think once against Runes, and that was not pretty. That was not pretty. Nah. Not pretty for who? Runes. Runes, yeah. This ice climb is for real. I'm interesting to see how this kind of changes things. I noticed a lot of the time when Unknown was on edge, he could not really get a whole lot of like, you know, he, didn't, he never came back and like conquered center stage. Like every single time he would come back from that set when he was playing Mewtwo, I noticed that he would like go for the confusion. So I'll just kind of wait those out and then knock them back off stage or whatever. I wonder if this will change because I know the way Icy's plays on ledge and handles like projectiles is way different. Because like overall they're like a little bit more of like a grounded character and stuff too. So I'm interested to see what'll happen. Player unknown is like the only ice climbers player like in Michigan, I believe. I think Lane. Well, I guess Lane just moved to Chicago. I know Lane played Icy's. Oh yeah, that's right, he did. I played him once in Am Bracket, but he went D to D. Oh, gross, disgusting. Yeah, I played. I picked Kirby, and then he picked D to D, and I was like, "Are you trying?" To oh. Kind of 
tied right now. Got he did off lose. The table. Oh, but he lost. Facing right there from unknown. Kind of not trying to go into like Peach's threat zone. She can put out those aerials so fast. Oh, nice. Very nice. Caught Zenota being a little too greedy. As strong as Peach's punish game is, it's also like there's a lot of room for error on Peach's part. So if, if you end up falling out of her punish game, you can capitalize really hard if she overcommits. We saw unknown do that right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, to spam it. Spin to win. Spin to win. Oh, it's so cheap. He's just <laughs> spamming. I mean, it's a good, you know, Ooh. Zenodo gets up in there and he's just like, no, get off. Excellent desyncs right there, too. Oh, loses one of them. Just goes for the grab right there. Zenodo waves it out. Just floating it out. There's no rush to get back on the ground, not against Sofo. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing pretty fine by himself. He doesn't need no help from any of, you know, the second ice climber. If he takes this, he'll be a legend. Nope, no. Got hit by the big booty. It was bound to happen. It happened to the best of us. It's the wizard desync. That works, I guess. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Did he use the air dodge? I'm not sure. I thought he was just, like, floating there. And then, like, next thing I know, I just see him, like, umbrella all the way yeah. down. Ooh, taking care of Nada. Zenodo so has been doing such an excellent job at taking care of her, too. Every time they get separated, he does such a good job prioritizing handling her, but also pushing away unknown. <laughs> These things come out. Zenodo so is able to float right over it. See, there's a reason why Zenodo is number one. And even though he doesn't play his brother too often, the fact that he's able to be like, I know what I have to do right now. Even though I, ooh. Oh, man. <gasps> Not good. That's it. Oh, unfortunate, unable to recover. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a comment on how the matchup is in this game, because I have no clue, but. There's something familiar about watching Peach destroy Ices. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you too. All right, switching over back to Mewtwo. What do you think? Uh, it's so hard to say because I feel like Mewtwo, like he's really light and really floaty. But like with Ice Climbers, you know, Zeno did such a good job, like good job at like separating them. Like it almost didn't even matter. Like it's almost like he was just playing as Sofo. Yeah. So maybe he would he would rather play just like the one character. I know that he plays Mewtwo more. I've seen him play Mewtwo more as opposed to like Ice Climbers, especially since you know they fixed the tail issue with Mewtwo. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Zenodo biggest like mash. Ready. Yeah, and like what you're saying with Ices, like yeah, Zenodo just like completely invalidated it. It felt like, but I know with Mewtwo, like game one, even though Zenodo was, you know, he took it with a two stock, it still felt like the momentum swung a lot more back and forth. Yeah, when it was like that Ices game, like I literally saw Zenodo jump in between the two and like separate them and then immediately go after Nana, like, able just, just to delete her. He just like nair. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uses the rainy day special. Nice tech chase right there on the platform. Oh, oh nice shield. Oh, nice. very Touches nice. the jump out of shield. Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, tried to wait out for like an air dodge or something. It didn't come out. That was good awareness on Zenodo's part. Unknown tying it back up. See, now Unknown's more, I'm not just gonna try and run in and hit you, he's more of a, I think I'll just, I'll wait for the opportune moment. And there isn't really much of an opportunity, cause just like from that little like 10 second interaction, Zenodo never pushed in when he had center stage. 
but would like pressure uh, unknown more and more into getting like into like you know he was, tr he was trying to get him to commit and like he didn't like every single time he would try to space out a move or try to push in just a little bit but Zenodo wasn't moving forward and unknown ended up you know catching the bait because like Zenodo hasn't budged from center stage until now you know and he, he just did a really good job at really kind of denying player unknown any stage like whatsoever. Every time he got back, he was just thrown right back off. Tries to get that oh. weird cheesy counter. Wow. Nice. Very nice. This time he was able to get it. He capitalized so well on that. You know, I wonder why he didn't opt to get the, the fully charged Shadow Ball. I wonder if there's a reason. Ooh. All right. Tied up now. Just floating there, minding my own business. Catching that turn up, quick 17. He's really good at placing those confusions. Charging up the... Nice dash attack right there. He has been doing such a good job keeping Zenodo off stage. Oh, tries to catch him from the fall, but just barely <gasps> mentioned... Oh, nice! Nice! Player unknown closing out game three. That was awesome patience. Just that whole stock, he never overextended, but he got like every single read right. Like, that was that was flawless play. All right, now we're gonna see uh, Zenodo make the switch to Little Mac. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it, coward. I know that he's talked about playing other characters than Peach, but I haven't really seen him like explore too many other options in bracket. Who do you who do you play in Smash 4? Did he play like Mario or something? No, I think he played Diddy. I heard he played Diddy. Kong okay, I know I know in PM it was Mario back in the olden days. But. And there was like one time I saw Zenodo bring out like the Diddy in bracket, but it didn't go too well. And yeah. I saw him experimenting a little bit with Pac-Man, but that also didn't go very far. He's <gasps> always just kind of come back to Peach. The stitch face. Oh! Boy. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, yo, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> this is the most pathetic throw I have ever seen. You see this, like, <laughs> it's like feebly tosses it. Good patience right there from Zenodo. Kind of boxing uh, Unknown right there on the ledge. Not letting him push in. Recognizing the hold shield and grab. Zenodo is so good at that. Not only just keeping him in the corner like we're seeing here, Ooh. but his mix-up on, on shield are incredible. Unknown's got to figure out something. Oh, just floating. Especially when he gets on ledge. Ooh. That was good. Nice. He's been trying to land that for a while. Oh, nice wait right there from Zenodo. Recognizing the Tekken was coming. Natalie does not get much of a punish oh, out of it. Oh, good shield on that. Nice little movement right there from my own, too. <gasps> oh, yeah. Teleport. I see, I, I see Zenodo do that a lot. Like, once you're off stage, he immediately goes to floating right in front of the ledge and he just waits to like literally smack you like yeah. smack you away whether it's he'll throw a turnip